Welcome to Life in Biology. I'm Dr. Joel Graf. Uh, today's subject is going to be human parasitic diseases. Um, this is something that I didn't think about much until I started my postdoc. Um, but human parasitic diseases, the thing that I didn't know was that how common they are. Uh, some of them are very common. Although it should be mentioned that uh, some some parasitic diseases on the are on the verge of being eradicated. So that's that's worth noting. Um, these diseases, they can be everything from asymptomatic to lethal, and it should be pointed out that um, a lot of these diseases can cause chronic debilitating um, disease, and so we're going to be talking about how to measure the impact of that a little bit later. So who gets th these diseases? For the most part, it's the people that would fall into the category that's sometimes called the bottom billion. Um, these are people that live with poor sanitation, poor housing, poor nutrition. Uh, they're just uh, more prone to getting more prone to getting human parasitic diseases. Now I said bottom billion, but the thing to know is that some of them are actually capable of infecting billions of people. So the two major categories of uh, endoparasites in humans are protozoans and helminths. And uh, just to give you an idea how common these are, a Toxoplasma gondii, gondii that causes toxoplasmosis, roughly three to four billion people in the world have this. Um, some countries as high as 95% of people. Um, some of that is due to sanitation, but some of it is also due to things like uh, eating raw meat. Um, when I was in Ethiopia, uh, it was it was one of the one of the favorite foods was a, a raw beef uh, meal called kitfo, um, and then other diseases like plasmodium uh, or parasites like plasmodium they they cause malaria. Three point two billion people live in areas where plasmodium is endemic. Now, uh, far fewer than three point two billion actually get disease each year, but probably. Uh, quite a few people get infected but don't show signs. Um, helminths, these are worms. Hookworms, 0 0.6 billion people currently have hookworms. Ascaris lumbricoides, this is a large round worm. Uh, my, my, my numbers got a little erased there but it's 0 0.8 to 1.2 billion people have that. And then whipworms, um, another 600 million people have whipworm. So when you talk about parasites, uh, the thing that you need to understand are are how to define hosts. So there's a de definitive host. This is the um, animal that harbors the adult, the sexual stage of the of the parasite. And then there's also intermediate hosts, and these harbor the uh, larval or, or asexual stage of the of the parasite. Reservoir. Now, a reservoir can be either a location or an animal. Um, location could be in water, in the soil. Um, animals, obviously, the animals that are infected with the parasite. And vectors can also have parasites. These are arthropods, so think insects like mosquitoes that transmit malaria, but you can also think. Um, Arachnids, like ticks, can also transmit human parasites. And from all these different places the parasites can be, you can end up with some life cycles that are always very, that can be very complex. And usually any detailed discussion of a parasitic disease starts with the, with the life cycle. And we'll break those down later as we go through them one by one. Now, how can you get parasites? The, the four main routes of, of infection are, I already kind of alluded to the fact that uh, arthropods can, can act as vector and transmit them from uh, person to person or animal to person. Uh, skin penetration, uh, you, can, you can have uh, uh, parasites in water and if you go in that water they can enter your skin by attaching to you and going in there they can also maybe um, sit on blades of grass and if you walk by with with bare feet 
they can get into your skin that way. Contaminated food and water, so drinking or eating uh, not so clean uh, food, not so clean water. And then intimate contact, I can think of uh, at least one parasite off the top of my head that's, a, that's an STD. So with all these people getting in, infected with parasites and they, ranging from lethal to, to asymptomatic to debilitating, how do, you, how do you try to put a number on um, the, the overall burden that, that paras human parasitic diseases cause? And there's a, a term I want to bring up and it's called a daily. Daily stands for disability adjusted life years. And what this is, is it's the sum of, of, of two numbers. It's the number of years of potential life lost. So if, if a two-year-old dies from malaria and they live in a country where you, that two-year-old could have expected to live 60 years, that's 58 years of life lost. It can also be years of productive life lost. So if someone has, uh, let's say, elephantiasis or something like that, they, they um, often get stigmatized, they often get to the point where they can no longer hold a job, um, and so that, can, that, that doesn't kill the person necessarily, but it definitely uh, has a huge impact on their life. So disability adjusted life years is typically the, uh, a good metric for talking about parasitic diseases. And these numbers, they, they end up in the millions of, of disability life, adjusted life years every year um, but just to to wrap this quick intro to human parasitic diseases up I want to I want to give you a quote from Joseph Stalin he was said to or he is thought to have said the death of one man is a tragedy and the death of millions is a statistic and because of that when I teach uh, uh, teach parasitic um, uh, classes on parasites in at, at college, I often start with, say, a picture of one little girl that is, um, is suffering from malaria uh, or, or things like that, um, just to bring it down to the, think about that one person whose life is just getting destroyed by this parasite, because just to say 500 million people die each year of malaria, that's just a big, that's just a big number, not 500 million, half a million uh, people die each year from malaria. That's just a very large number uh, and can get confused with other large numbers, obviously. Um, but if you say someone dies of, a kid dies of malaria every 30 seconds, uh, that brings it to a much, much uh, more personal level. Anyway, uh, that's the that's the intro to human parasitic diseases got some de definitions in there talked about dailies uh we'll we'll come back to parasitic diseases um i especially want to talk about leishmania the disease that i uh, leishmaniasis the disease that i study um in in future episodes so thanks for watching and i'll see you soon